This is Rick Weaver back at War Memorial Stadium in Baltimore. The condition of the field probably before the afternoon is over is going to be extremely slippery. So the Dolphins will go to work with Earl Morrill as the uh, quarterback starting from their 39-yard line. Marlon Briscoe and Paul Warfield are the wide receivers. We have uh, Norm Evans along with Wayne Moore, the tackles. Larry Little, Bob Kuchenberg, the guards. Langer, the center. And Morris, rather kick and Zonka are the split back. Here is Morrow. Hand off to Zonka. Big hole left side, 45. Up across the 50. And knocked down into coach territory at about the, let's see what they're going to mark it. Perhaps his knee touched the ground. They say he was contained before he got to the 50. And uh, they'll mark it at the Dolphins, 49. So Zonka picks up some 10 yards on that carry. Well, let's make it 11 as they... Uh, We'll rule it at the 50-yard line now. They finally get the ball positioned properly. Mike Barnes, Jim Bailey, Joe Schmeezing, and uh, Joe Ehrman are the front four. Ted Hendricks, Mike Curtis, and Stan White, the linebackers. Rex Turn and Nelson Muncy, the corners. And Volk, along with Ray Oldham, a uh, rookie from Middle Tennessee State, number 25, are the safety. A third down, and we'll call it four for the Dolphins. They have to get the ball just uh, outside the Baltimore 40-yard line for a first down. Morrow, ready to go to work from the Colts 45-yard line. He drops to throw his first pass. He swings it out of the backfield. Caught by Zonka. He is dragging tacklers with him down to the 40, inside the 40, down to the Colts 39-yard line. Earl Morrow completes to Larry Zonka for some six yards. Earl coming in needs 82 yards through the air to achieve 20,000 career yards passing. And so with a six-yard pickup, he picks up a first down. And now he has some 76 yards to go. The ball is marked at the Colts 34, so Merck gets only a yard. It's third down and five. Warfield splits to the far side, Briscoe to the near side, and the uh, kick is a slot man to the left. The ball from the Colts 34. Here is Morrow dropping the throw. Has plenty of time, firing deep upfield. Briscoe down there. He can't get it. Off his fingertips, he had his man whipped in the end zone, and he couldn't hold on to the football. Garrow Yapremian will come in and try a field goal. Garrow on the season leads the AFC in scoring with 100 points. He's 22 out of 33 in the field goal department. He's number three in the NFL behind Mickenmeyer and Ray. This will be a 42-yard attempt toward the south end of the field. Morrow will hold, waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down. The kick is up. He has the distance on it, and it is no good. No good off to his right side. So that brings the crowd to life as the Dolphins, Gerald Yepremian, misses the 42-yard attempt. Now, we mentioned earlier this afternoon that uh, the condition of the field might be a factor as far as the kicker's uh, foot placement, and it could have been that time. Marty Domrus, number 14, the five-year man from Columbia, will be the quarterback, the running back, Lydell Mitchell, number 26, and Bill Olds, the rookie from Nebraska, number 38. And uh, this club is fired up. They want to do something. They want to, uh, would like to finish up their season with a winning uh, a streak. They have lost six in a row coming into this ball game. They mark the ball at the uh, at the 22-yard line, so we'll call it a second down and eight. Here's Domeris back to throw. Play fake. He fires up to the near side. It is caught by the tight end, Mitchell, and he is knocked down at the 31-yard line. And the Colts pick up the first down. Nick Bonacani, the middle linebacker, makes the stop on the play. That is the first first down of the ball game for the Colts. They have the ball at their 31-yard line. Spire splits to the near side. Doty up to the far side. The backs, Holes, and Mitchell are split in behind Domrich. From the Colts, 31-yard line. On the snap, here's the handoff. Holes, big hole left side, 35. 40 up to the 45-yard line. They're going to mark it at the 44. He picks up 13 yards and a first down. Free safety Jake Scott took him up. The ball is marked at the Baltimore 48-yard line. It'll bring up the second down and six. Clock moving with six minutes, 35 seconds left to go in the first quarter. There's no score. He hands off. Mitchell sweeps to the right. Does he get the corner turn? He does. At the 50, down to uh, Miami 45, inside the 45 to the 44-yard line. Goes Lydell Mitchell. Dick Anderson made the tackle on the play for Miami, and the ball is marked at the Dolphins 43. That is good for another Colts first down. They're third of the ball game. Second down and five. The ball at the 38-yard line in Miami territory. Dahmer spins, hands to all. He follows Mitchell to a hole to the left side inside the 35, down to the 32-yard line. And that's going to be good for another first down. Jake Scott, the free safety along with Dick Anderson, make the tackle on the play. So the Colts have a drive going, and you can hear these fans. It's been a long dry spell. They put the ball down at the Miami 27-yard line, and they have to get down to the 21 for a first down, so it'll be a third down and six coming up. The prevent situation now as Matheson comes in, and Heinz goes out on the 53 defense. Spire splits left, and Doty to the far side. The backs are split. On the snap, Domerick. Hands off on the draw play through the middle. Oh, inside the 20, down to the 17-yard line. Rambo 
Bill Owens, the 225 pound rookie from Nebraska. Mike Cohen tipped him up, but not before he achieves another first down. And that for Baltimore, as far as their third down conversion situations are concerned, is their first. Ball at the Miami 15 yard line. 129 left to play in the first quarter. The Colts making a serious threat here to break their scoring drop against the Dolphins. Spires puts near side, Doty to the far side. Holes and Mitchell to split back. In behind Domris on a third down and eight. Here's the handoff, Mitchell a hole. He is cracked as he slid through the hole and the uh, linebacker, Bob Matheson, really put the shoulder into him and knocked him down at the 12. All right, they're gonna go for the field goal and the ball is put down at the 12. So this will be a 19 yard attempt for George Hunt. The youngster from the University of Tennessee who is 13 out of 24 in field goals and he has 60 points on the season. Holding is Jack Mildred. A 19 yard attempt down here at the north end from straight out in front. 40 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Snap, set down, the kick is up, and it's good, and the Colts have finally scored against Miami. The clock has stopped with 37 seconds left to go in the first quarter, so the Dolphins did not quite achieve 19 consecutive scoreless quarters against this Baltimore team. So Hunt gets them on the board with an 18-yard field goal, and Baltimore takes the lead by a score of 3 to nothing with uh, 37 seconds left to play here in the uh, first quarter of the contest. The kickoff, Charlie Lee grabbed it back at the Dolphins' four-yard line, moving up the near sideline. He was hit, fumbled the ball, and the Colts take it. They recover the fumble at the Miami 39-yard line. The man who got it was special teams performer number 17, Sam Haverlack. Charlie Lee had the wet football stripped from his grasp. He had a return of some uh, 35 yards, but that doesn't mean anything now because the Colts recover the fumble. And the Dolphins, who have the least number of turnovers in the NFL, commit one. It could prove costly, at least at this stage of the ball game. And there is the end of the first quarter. Dolphin action continues. The Baltimore, Maryland with the score. Baltimore three and the Dolphins nothing. Rookie Bill Olds, number 38, ran 11 times for 50 yards and one touchdown, which gave him a chance to show off some of that good old Nebraska spirit. Dolphin football continues from Baltimore with a score. Baltimore 10, Miami nothing. The gun sounds ending the first half. Miami trails by a score of 10 to nothing. And attained little or nothing as far as total offense is concerned in the first half. They had the ball for only 19 plays. And had only one scoring opportunity. That a missed 42-yard field goal attempt by Garo Yepremia. So the Dolphins have got to get some offense started. And to go back to receive the opening kickoff will be uh, Mercury Morris and Charlie Lee. All right, Hunt will kick off, but it is high. It is deep, back five yards in the end zone. Morris lets it roll out of the end zone for the touchback. No run back, and the Dolphins will start off their 20-yard line. First down, Dolphins from their 20. Zonka rams his way over the right side, and he gets about three yards out to the 23-yard line. The ball is at the 23-yard line in Dolphins territory. We've just started the third quarter. It's a second down and seven. Morrill ready to go to work. Here's the handoff. Zonka rams into the middle again. He gets out to the 25, and that's all. The Colts waiting for him. They stop him at the 25, a gain of two yards. Bailey again jammed the play up along with Joe Schmeezing playing at the uh, defensive right side tackle. The two tackles in on the stop. It'll bring up a third down and five. Dolphins have got to get something started here. Although we've just started this third quarter, they've got to show to themselves that they can move this football against this Baltimore defense. The backs are split. Kick is now in there with Ronka. Here is Morrow dropping back to throw. He fires out. It is almost intercepted. Dropped at the 32-yard line. Ted Hendricks. The ball the University of Miami fans are familiar with. Was the only man near the ball. So Cycle will punch. He gets the rush. Gets it out of there. Almost blocked. He gets it high. And a fair catch made by Rick Bolt at the Dolphins' 40, 48 yard line. He got some tremendous pressure that time from big Ted Hendricks, and he almost blocked it, only a 21 yard kick as they're going to mark it at the 47 yard line. So the Colts, as they have done for most of the afternoon, have excellent field position. It brings up a fourth down. The fans, of course, you can hear in the background, are shouting for them to go for it, and they have decided to do just that. The ball is just outside the Miami 37-yard line. They need they need perhaps uh, closer to a yard than a foot for the uh, first down. All right, the two tight ends remain in. Dimer brings his golf club up. Fourth down and uh, about a yard. 
Here is the handoff, and ramming over the right side, getting the first down down to the 35 is Lydell Mitchell. Mitchell over the right side, and uh, this is bound to keep the momentum going for the coach. Mike Cullen, Nick Bonacani make the tackle on the play. Another fourth down and less than a yard situation. The fans hollering for them to go for it. They've decided not to go for it this time, and George Hunt, the field goal kicker, is in. Mildred will hold. This will be a 33-yard attempt down to the south end. Hunt, one for one in the game, 19 yards. It's a 33-yard attempt. And uh, it's going to be a, a fake field goal attempt. Mildred picks the ball up, runs with it, gets inside the 25, and he's got a first down. Down to the Dolphins, 23. A fake field goal attempt. Mildred, who is a... Uh, Great ball and key quarterback at Oklahoma in his college days. The holder just picked it up and ran with it. Out of fake uh, field goal situation, and Mildred is injured on the play. But he, uh, in the process, gets a first down and allows the Colts to keep their hands on the football. A first down at the Miami 23-yard line. Fourth down at about two feet. The ball at the Miami 13-yard line. Cyrus puts left. Andrews stays as a blocking back. He's at the fullback spot. Here is the handoff to Mitchell over the right side. He's got a first down down the 10-yard line. They mark the ball at the 10. So he picks up three yards plus a foot or two, and it's a first down. Now the ball is at the two-yard line. They say that Mitchell lost the yard, so it's fourth down and goal. The ball at the two. Andrews, the normal tight end, and Mitchell are the split back. Here's the play fake. Dominic throws into the end zone. It is caught by Tom Mitchell, a tight end for a touchdown. 46 yards, that last drive for Baltimore, 14 plays. George Hunt will kick, and Mildred, who apparently is all right, will hold. That ball was a bad snap, and Hunt, Mildred could not hold it. Apparently, he is injured, and he could not get his hands on the ball, whether it was a snap or a Mildred's fault. Anyway, Hunt just kicked it into the line of scrimmage, and the kick is no good. So it's a 16 to nothing score with five minutes and 33 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Dolphin football continues from Baltimore. That score, Baltimore, 16, Miami, nothing. The Dolphins have looked pathetic. Five minutes and 27 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Let's see how much pride we have. Out of the huddle comes Miami. This goes puts to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Morris. And Drucker, the split back behind Morrow. Morrow plays fake, swings it out to the far side to Briscoe, and he is going to get nothing. Picks up two yards, and that's all. He just swung it out to the far side, and Marlin, sometimes out of that situation, will throw the ball. At that time, it was run all the way after he caught, and uh, they mark it up the 22. So they pick up two yards, second down and eight. Morrow on the snap. Hands off to Morris. He's trying to get outside to the near side, and he is cracked and thrown for a loss, back at about the 20-yard line. He never got the corner turned. The blocking was non-existent. Nelson Muncy, Muncy, the right cornerback, turned that one in. They mark it back at the 20. It's a loss of two, bring up a third down and 10. I can't believe this. Not the fact that the Colts have uh, turned it around, but the Dolphins, as we remarked, uh, Pittsburgh in that first half on Monday night were in at. This is about as in at performance as I've ever seen from a Miami team in the three years that I've been there play by play announcer. Third down and 10. Dolphins from their 20. Morrow drops the throw. Sets up, firing deep. Briscoe is down there. He's got it. 45 to the 40, 35 to the 30, and he's knocked down at the Colts 27 yard line. Marlon Briscoe beat the secondary deep, and Morrow laid a strike in there, and finally, the Dolphins moved the football into scoring position with a first down at the Colts 27. And after Marlon caught the, caught the ball, that was about a 20-yard stumble. 43 yards on the pass completion as the Miami offense suddenly comes to life. And let's see if this can buoy them up. Earl Morrow throws uh, his longest pass of the day. And unofficially with that 28 yards that he had previous to this pass, that gives him uh, some 71 yards. Perhaps 11 yards shy yet of what he needs for his 20,000-yard passing career total. Here's the handoff. Drucker starts outside of the left, turns the corner. 25 down to the 20. Runs over a tackler and is dealt it out of bounds. Down here in front of us at about the 18-yard uh, line. Larry's knock out. Second down and one for the Dolphins. Two minutes, 42 seconds to go in this third quarter. Baltimore leads 16 to nothing. And if the Dolphins are to keep their win streak alive and to set a new percentage record win streak in the... NFL, they're going to have to do it in a hurry. We still have another quarter left. We have word that Bob Kuchenberg has broken his arm. 
That is certainly a mis misfortune. Here's Gonka booming through the middle, and he gets the first down down to the 11-yard line. Ray Oldham and Rick Volk on the tackle. First down for Miami. That uh, that's just disturbs me no end. Coach uh, has a fractured arm, and that, of course, takes him out of the uh, playoff situation and anything that might develop. Uh, after that, Briscoe slips to the far side, Warfield to the near side. The back, Morris and Zonka are in an eye. Burrow needs one yard to put him over 20,000. His career passing. Here's the pitch to Morris, starts outside, cuts back to his right, and he's lucky to get to the 10-yard line. As the Colts swarming defense led by Nelson Muncie and middle linebacker Mike Curtis nailed him at the Baltimore 10. The ball is just outside the Colts 10. The second down and nine for a first down. And about ten and a half to go for a score. Clock moving with 107 left to play in the third quarter. Baltimore leading 16-0. Warfield, who has not been thrown to, slips to the near side. Briscoe to the far side. Chick and Zonka split in behind Morrow. Earl hands off to Zonka. Hits the left side, down to the five. Inside the five to about the four-yard line. Booms Larry Zonka. Roy Hilton and Stan White make the tackle. And this Dolphin offense suddenly has come to life following that 43-yard pass uh, completion to Marlon Briscoe. A sleeping giant. The ball is marked at the three. It's third down, and uh, we'll call it a long yard for a first down. They have to get down to about the yard and a half line for a first down. The ball at the coach three-yard line. Dolphins need touchdown. Third down, and, and a long yard for a first down. About three to go for a score. There's a handoff. Kick hits the middle, and I don't think he got the first down. They just jammed that middle up solid. Joe Schmeezing, Jim Bailey in on the stop. So Garrow is going to come in and kick a field goal. If indeed, that's what it is. And Jim Langer, uh, who's usually a mild-mannered guy, is disgusted that the field goal team is coming in. He and Wayne Moore were waving him off, and just threw their arms up in despair. And there's no time left, so Garrow will have to try it in the final period. Dolphin football action will continue as that's the end of the third period from Baltimore with a score, the Colts 16, the Dolphins nothing. So Garrow will try the field goal, waiting for the snap. Here it is, sat down, he gets the kick up, and it's perfect. Baltimore leads 16 to nothing. Mike Curtis played his first game since the fifth week of the season, and the inspired gang-tackling Colts who gave up 44 points in the first Dolphin game yielded just three points to the Super Bowl machine. The 16-3 win over Miami was one of the greatest victories in Colt history. In the four weeks since their 44-0 defeat, the Colts had summoned strength. They had been toughened by three weeks of frustrating losses, and now against the world champion Miami Dolphins, the team had come full cycle and was ready to reclaim some of its proud past. Thank you. 